This is part of a series focusing on the basics of SOLIDWORKS modeling. In this video, the topic of rectangles will be covered. To create a rectangle, start a new sketch by clicking a plane and selecting the sketch icon. Now select the rectangular sketch entity from the sketch command manager tab. In the property manager on the left, you can see the desired rectangle types. Each one shows points with numbers which represent the order of clicks needed to make that rectangle. There are two main types of rectangles, corner and center. The plain corner and center rectangles on the top will give you rectangles that have both vertical and horizontal sides. The bottom three types allow you to pick the orientation of the rectangle as well. The two center point rectangles have construction lines that go from corner to corner. These rectangles all have some relations with them, but more relations and dimensions are needed in order to fully define the sketch. Another way of creating a rectangle is by using the line tool. This requires that four lines be drawn to create an enclosed quadrilateral. Next, relations such as perpendicular and parallel can be added in order to get the shape looking more like a rectangle. If you would like to create a square, you can add an equals relation so that all the sides are the same length. Multiple entities can be selected by holding the control key down. Dimensions can then be added to fully define the rectangle. These rectangles all have different benefits. The center point rectangle is a good sketch entity to use when starting a new part because you can center the rectangle on the origin. This is very helpful when designing with symmetry. Corner rectangles are useful when referencing other sketch entities or features where you know where an edge of that rectangle should be. I hope this will be helpful when using rectangles and sketches.